So Meltzer's reporting that we didn't see eye to eye and Rick wasn't in charge, in control. Right. It's not true. I didn't want to be involved in creative. I I had, I was insecure. I was aware of my lack of experience and feel for that aspect of the business. I wanted Rick to have as much control as as he needed to feel comfortable and and to execute a vision. But that's a full time job, and that's a full time job that requires a lot of grinding in the office with the team. It's not fun. I mean, it is fun if you're the type of person who enjoys that process. That wasn't Rick's strength. Didn't mean he didn't have the knowledge and the ability, but sitting in, look, he's your father-in-law. You know what (laughs) I'm talking about. Yeah. This is not, you know, being in that, and yes, he had to be in that. You can't do this, you know, at the Marriott, you know, out by the pool. You know, you've, you got to do it as a team. It's just the only way it works. Right. And that wasn't Rick's thing. And he was uncomfortable with it. And I'll tell you the other thing that, that made Rick not a good choice to be the head of creative. Certainly he had the experience and the knowledge and the respect of many, not all, but many of the people that were working for us at the time. But Rick, being in that position, you are going to get so much heat. Yes. Particularly when you're one of them, meaning to go from being in the locker room and a well-respected performer and people looking up to you and you're the guy, Rick Flair was the guy from such a large part of his career. But once you leave that room and then you go into the room where people wear ties and control other people's lives, you're no longer one of them. Hmm. Now, doesn't mean that the whole roster felt that way, but it over time, when people aren't getting what they want, when they're not getting the push that they hope they're going to get, when they don't like the finish of their match, and the guy that they used to hang out with in the locker room is the booker, that's yeah. a different kind of pressure. Rick didn't want that. Kind. Rick loved being a heel out in the ring. He did not love being a heel when it came to being in the office. And that's the reason why Rick would have never, unless Rick was willing to acknowledge that and change that and take on a different view of life, meaning I got to be to work at, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning and leave by eight o'clock at night, you know, five or six days a week, you know, um, it would have never worked out. It, It just wasn't. And, and it's not, again, not because he didn't have the experience. I'm working real hard here to give credit to Rick for what credit, what, what Rick was good at, deserve credit for. But just because you're, you're an amazing performer in the ring doesn't mean you can be an amazing executive in the office. They're two different worlds.